Cuff is a natural way of body's response to any external stimulus or irritant including dust and smoke. It is an activity of clearing mucus from throat and respiratory tract by rapid expulsion of air. On the basis of duration, there may be acute cuff that lasts between 1 to 3 weeks, subacute cuff may last up to 8 weeks, and chronic cuff lasts longer up to more than 8 weeks. Dry cuff produces no phlegm or mucus, but wet cuff produces phlegm and mucus. In this video, you will learn about dry cuff and cuffing of blood with mucus, which is also known as hemoptysis. What is dry cuff? A dry cuff is also known as non-productive cuff because it produces no phlegm or mucus. Dry cuff is usually caused by infections of airway passages. The most common infections causing dry cuff include cold and flu. Most of the viral infections cause dry cuff such as COVID-19. Acute dry cuff is not as serious as chronic dry cuff is. The chronic dry cuff may be due to some serious lung infections including asthma and COVID-19. What is hemoptysis? Hemoptysis is a more serious condition which involves coughing up blood with mucus. It can be a sign of serious lung infections and may be due to rupture of blood vessels in the lungs causing blood in mucus while coughing. Hemoptysis can be caused by viral and bacterial infections, some chronic lung infections such as bronchiectasis and it can also be caused by toxic effects of smoking. Antifibrinolytic agents are used for the management of hemoptysis. Drinking plenty of water helps in keeping mucus thin and helps it in coughing out of the lungs. When someone is coughing excessive blood and feeling dizziness, lightheadedness, chest pain and fever, it should be treated or managed earlier to avoid further complications. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.